Hello and welcome to the video. In this video today, I am going to review Word Hero's long form editor and show you how to create long blog posts and articles in a matter of minutes. If you don't know what Word Hero is, it is an AI content generator software that has been a popular tool for content writers for more than a year now. I have been using Word Hero for a while now and I must say that I am really impressed with its capabilities. The software is very easy to use and it has a lot of features that make writing content a breeze. Now Word Hero has two main modules for content creation. The short form template section and the long form editor. In this review, I will be focusing on the long form editor. The long form editor is very similar to a word processor like Microsoft Word. But what makes it different is the power of AI that it has. With the help of AI, the long form editor can generate high quality content for you with a push of a button. I have already reviewed the short form templates in my earlier Word Hero review video. If you are interested in that, you can check it out from the description below. Now, without further ado, let's get started with the review of the long form editor inside Word Hero. This is what we see when we log in. To access the long form editor, I'm going to click on this editor tab. The first thing that you will notice when you open the long form editor is the sleek and clean interface. When I tested the long form editor a few months back, things were a bit different. The editor has undergone a lot of changes since then and I must say that the current version is much better. The design of the interface of the editor hasn't changed much but the quality of output has definitely improved. Also, there have been new tools added to the long form editor since I last used it. Let's go through some of the features of the long form editor. If you see here on the left side you have the templates tab. This is where you can find all the templates that are available inside Word Hero. These are the same templates that are also available inside Word Hero's short form template library. You can use these templates to write your content. All you need to do is fill in the blanks with your own information. For example, if I want to write a blog introduction about a particular topic, I'm going to choose the blog intro template, enter my blog topic and click on write for me. And that's it. Word Hero will instantly generate an enticing introduction for my blog post. Similarly, we can use other templates to write different types of content. There are templates available for social media posts, product descriptions, email subject lines, etc. Some of these templates may require additional inputs from you. For example, if you want to use the ADA framework to write a sales letter, you need to input the product name and the short description of your product and then click on write for me to generate content. On the top, you have the important tabs required to write your content. First, you have the create new document tab followed by the open a document tab and then the save document tab. You also have the advanced options from where you can choose the default output language to suit your needs. The long form editor supports multiple languages. So if you want to write your content in a different language, you can select it from here. Next, there is a tab that takes us to the help section. Frankly speaking, there isn't much inside this section except a video that shows you how the long form editor works. The video is a bit outdated and doesn't show the new features of the long form editor, but it's still worth a watch if you are new to Word Hero. Next, there is a blog outline feature. All you need to do is enter the topic of your blog post in the title section of long form editor and click on this tab. Word Hero will then generate an outline for your content. Next, there is the blog paragraphs tool. According to me, this is the most powerful tool inside Word Hero. Using this tool, you can write an intro to your article or expand any highlighted text from inside the article. 
Finally, there is a write more button which you can use to add more content to your article. Using this feature, you can add content to the cursor point or after the highlighted text. This has a maximum of 600 characters look back, meaning that it will take into consideration the 600 characters before the cursor point and generate content accordingly. Now let me show you how to create an article of more than 1000 words in a matter of minutes. I am going to write an article titled Yoga for Back Pain, A Beginner's Guide. First, I am going to enter the title in the title section of long form editor and click on blog outline. Word Hero will then generate an outline for my content. If I want subsections for these subheadings, I can copy each of these headings one by one inside the blog outline template on the left and create subheadings and make them H3s. For this demo, however, I will only use these H2s. Now that my outline is ready, I am going to click on the blog paragraphs tab and start writing my content. First, I need to write an introductory paragraph for my article. So I am going to click on this rocket icon to generate an intro. And that's it. As you can see, Word Hero just generated an introductory paragraph for my article. As simple as that. If I'm not happy with this intro, I can click on the blog paragraph button again to generate a new intro. I'm pretty happy with this intro, so I'm going to leave it as it is and start writing the next section of my content. Now, all I need to do is highlight each of these headings and use the blog paragraphs tool to expand them. It's really that simple. If I want more content, I can always use the blog paragraph tool once again and then edit the content or I can use the write more button. I can also highlight any content inside my article and use the blog paragraph tool to add more content to my blog post. And that's it. In just a few minutes, I'm able to write an article of more than 1000 words. Best of all, I have access to the unlimited plan so I can generate as much content as I want without having to worry about the word limit or paying extra money. Now I can write a conclusion using the blog conclusion paragraph on the left. If you want, you can make your article even more interesting by making use of other templates available inside Word Hero. For example, you can use templates like example provider or explain it like a professor templates to make your article engaging and informative. All in all, I am really impressed with the Word Hero's long form editor. It has made my life as a content writer so much easier and I am sure you are going to love it too. If you want to get access to the long form editor, you will have to first get Word Hero's standard version for a one-time payment of $89. 
and then get the editor add-on by paying an extra of $89 one time. So, for a total of $178, you will get access to Word Hero's complete set of tools with all the future updates for free and unlimited lifetime access. I have given the link in the description below for your convenience. So, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and get started with the Word Hero today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.